We're seeing strong winds across the Southland, and it may only get worse as the night goes along. Christy Fajardo is live in Santa Clarita right now with the latest on those conditions there. Christy. Yeah, Jeff, right now in the Santa Clarita Valley, it is very dry. What we're not seeing, though, are heavy gusts, at least not for the moment. But take a look here behind me. As you can see, it is breezy, and the people here know the winds are coming. In the Santa Clarita area, people are used to wind, but at high temperatures, and they know there's a potential for trouble. The fall season usually has the winds, and usually you have fires too. The, the fire bugs just, they wait until these conditions, and you know almost every time a fire's gonna, you're gonna hear of one somewhere. So it's nerve wracking. That's why firefighters are fanned out in the hills above the Newhall Pass trying to stamp out the last of the Saddle Ridge fire. And heavy gusts last night put containment lines to the test. Last night was our first uh, opportunity to have those winds come back and to see if our lines would hold. And sure enough, they did because of firefighters' hard work. This fire in October of 2007 shows just how bad it can get in the fall. Jean Hagel says she doesn't need reminders. She always remembers to be on the lookout. I am extra vigilant, <laughs> very much so. We all are. I mean, I've been through them before here. We had to evacuate. And to reduce the danger of power lines accidentally sparking a fire, SoCal Edison sent out more than 22,000 warnings of possible precautionary outages. Most of them would be in Santa Barbara, L.A., and Orange counties. But smaller numbers of customers in Riverside and Ventura counties could also end up in the dark. And of course, another big concern when there are heavy gusts are falling trees. In fact, trees were toppled in Van Nuys and in Burbank last night. So in addition to fires, people should also be on the lookout for leaning trees. Live in the Santa Clarita Valley, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News. All right, Christy, thank you very much.